Good afternoon and welcome to the Victoria Advocate. I'm managing editor Becky Cooper. Our editor Chris Cobbler is here partially, but he's in a meeting, got caught up in a meeting. His universal sign of presence is here, but he's not. <laughs> Join us as our special guest today is, I don't know if you have him on the camera, but it's Typo the Wonder Cat. He's laying here ready to erase whatever we tell you. So he's laying here very patiently. So if you have any, if you want to say anything, send typo a message, whatever, let Tony know and talk to Tony or Tom and they'll let you know. So we'll relay the message. You want to do a t trivia while we're waiting on Chris? Yeah, let me find one with words I can, I can pronounce. So while we're waiting. I was off. Why do you guys call me? Well, we thought you were in a meeting. Oh, there it is. Were you taking a nap or something? I was uh, looking on the clock wrong. Oh. You guys already started? We just, just did. Started. Just started. Wait for Tony to find a trivia question. We introduced <sighs> Typo. All right. And he's laying here. Typo's he's our special guest. For a while. So, say we told you, Chris is here. All right. Will, and there's well, he Typo. Is he on camera? He was. He's right there. What's he doing up here? Looking for treats? Well, Tom was like holding him to the point where he, right. Typo was so. Kind of vocalizing his disapproval. <laughs> so now he's just waiting. Now he's staying. He's just hanging with him. Yeah, yeah he started hanging with him. He just got on the table and he stayed there. Hi, Typo. How are you? All right. So we're Thank getting the introductions of the we're people. Me. Let us know what you think of the stores we're working on. Any suggestions you have for stores we should be working on? We didn't do the official Tony and Tom, but everybody knows who they are. Oh, okay. Everybody knows them. I'm pulling up the video so I can see your comments. Gabby just mentioned me on something. Yeah. Um, Yorktown ISD just unanimously voted to make Catherine Kunstler the lone finalist in the superintendent search. So okay. we'll get that taken care of. Yeah, we need to add that to the list. Thank you, Gabby, for staying on top of that. She tagged Amber in it too. Okay. So Amber, we need you to work on that. All right. What is tomorrow? The twenty-first. All right. I'll call the Thursday. Button. Good. So that's breaking news. Um, an address also going to have to I can see it. Janine, just join us. How are you, Janine? And I'll type in hello so you can type in hello. And it'll all be good. Um, if we got a good trivia question, we'll get everybody to sign on. Uh, here's a fun one. What is the largest living structure on Earth? Living structure. Living structure on Earth. Uh, I would guess. Janine says, hi, sweetheart. It nice. is a the group largest. of aspen trees. I don't know where they're located at, though. A grove? Yeah, uh, they're all connected as, yeah, a, as a living org. I've heard that. Was it aspen? Yeah. Is that you're talking about? Was it Colorado? I thought it was some other kind of tree. In California? Well, aspen it might be Colorado. I don't know. What's the, uh, what are the national park? What was the first national park in, Col in California? Where the, the big trees the are, the, the huge redwoods. Trees. Redwoods. redwoods. Yeah, the redwood forest. I don't know if they're all connected. It's like one uh, living organism is what he's talking about. The living. Uh, Robbie says we're wrong. What? Well, Robbie says it's wrong. What's your guess, Robbie? You haven't Googled it, though. What's your guess? If you Googled it, you can't answer it. No. She knows the answer because she Googled it. Don't Google it. Don't Google it. All right, keep guessing. The largest living what? structure. It could be like... um. Uh, some kind of reef, right? The Mojave Desert. Um, no, uh, that's a sort of a biosphere. No, I'm talking about like off the coast of uh, Australia or New Zealand. What's that barrier? Okay. Great Barrier Reef. Um, that might be on my list. I don't know. Well, we'll wait for other people to chime in. While well, we got planned for tomorrow is a story on uh, Miss Vic would be a plan. Queen, Queen. Vic Queen Victoria. Mm -hmm. These um, are the young ones who will represent Victoria during the livestock show and in parades and various other things during the year. Hmm. The Great Barrier Reef, Janine says. Isn't that oh. what I said? So she agrees with me. Great Barrier Reef. That makes sense. Did you Google it, Janine? If, if it's a good guess, I'm, I'm impressed with you. You said the and call transfer. I just proved by Google that it was my first guess. Well, I'll look at the back now that you've said that. The answer is the Great Barrier Reef, located off the northeastern coast of Australia. It stretches for over 1,400 miles and can be seen from outer space. Where are you going, cat? Typo, come here. All right, he's, he's off scary. Uh, So along with Queen Victoria, we've got a story on the Victoria uh, ISD board meeting. Coming up. Oh, I heard there was some kind of meeting today that Amber would find out about. A meeting today? She didn't of, uh, 
school meeting. I'll have to see if I got that. Sun's out, Janine says. Good. And, uh, oh, yeah. Friend said no. Said no to what? <laughs> Let me, uh, I gotta check out my notes, see if I got. Nope, no answer to that question. All right. Um, I'll get back to where I was. What's the next story? Go ahead. Um, we have regional roundup. We have an advance on John Michael Talbot, who will perform tomorrow night here in Victoria. Louis says he's here too. I see Louis. Louis. Oh. Your friend Louis. Louis. Oh, Louis, Louis Avalos. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I was wrong that it was not the GBR. Yes, it is. It's Great Barrier Reef. Oh, no, you're Louis, wrong. That it was Louis, not. Louis, I do not have my phone with me. Yeah, please text me. So I'll, I'll, uh, I'll look. So where are we? A school board, what's on the agenda? Fine oh, I'll call it the Fine Arts Yeah, Center. they have to pass a resolution, mm -hmm. then they have to send it to the legislature, and the le legislature has to approve. It's, it's an interesting a, story. I mean, I... I, I school I, building? Yeah. So that's a public school, school building. building. I know from nonprofits, like, the symphony is very motivated for this, and I know, uh, mm -hmm. speaking for the Education Foundation, that also has concerts there, like Don... Uh, Felder. Felder. I don't like blanking his name because I can't keep on saying Don Henley. Why Weren't you on the committee to uh, yes, yes. him? <laughs> yeah, but that, you know, when you have, you're renting out the building, you'd like to also be able to have beer and wine as part of the whole experience you do, which is not not that you'd have it at a high school event, only for You know, I was going to say, I thought I had it there, but it's yeah. the Welder Center that sells it. Yeah, the Welder Center does. Yeah. And, and, and because what we do, that's why we have the concert. At the Fine Arts Center, and then we tell everybody to pack up and go over to UHV because they can have beer and wine there. And, that, and of course, you lose some people in that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they want to have the reception right there. That's that's the point of this. Was that, was that open to everybody, or is that just open to the sponsor? The sponsors, people? sponsor type people. Yeah. Who has tickets to the Rolling Stones? You're gonna go see the Rolling Stones, Shane? Wow, are they still alive? Do they have wheelchairs <laughs> or what? And they're rolling. They're literally rolling now on their. <laughs> Mick Jagger strutting around. Mm. Yeah. He's in his seventies now, isn't he? At least. Well, we figured Don Felder's had to be in his seventies too. Yeah, I would think. I would think. Mm. He looked good. Yeah. He looked good. I yeah. bet he was sucking up down some oxygen when he got to. Omg, Janine, you didn't like that joke. All right, all right. Uh, <laughs> then we have a story about John Michael Talbot coming. Tomorrow. Tomorrow night, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was not just said. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did I miss that? Regional roundup? Yeah. Got, and got that? All right. Yorktown superintendent, we said that. All right. What else we got? Calhoun County Sheriff's Office. Uh, there's a drug bust in uh, Magnolia Beach area. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay. And uh, regional long, filings? We have a long list of regional filings. We got room for that tomorrow? Um, I don't know. see. But all the all the elections and get out. We've got a story about uh, Swan Lake, the 35th anniversary of Swan Lake. I think it's the 35th anniversary of the ballet. Maybe no, the performance here. Oh, the performance okay. here. Does that know. still need to be edited? I didn't touch it. I thought you uh, touched no, it. No, I did not. All right. Well, it still needs to be edited. But then uh, Joe Fryer, not sure what movie he's reviewing. You see on the website? Yeah, was that Lords of Chaos? I think. Wow, okay. Lords of Chaos. Scandinavian heavy oh, metal. Oh, I thought it was a story about newspaper editors. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. <laughs> uh, we got That's our fashion chaos. column. Yeah, not Lord. <laughs> and all the other regular get out features so you can plan your entertainment uh, week. So where are the Rolling Stones playing, Janine? Where are they going to be? Houston, where, probably. Houston. Yeah, we have San Antonio several years back. My in-laws went to see him. Brother-in-law and sister-in-law. All right. Uh, then in sports, we got Calhoun East Baseball. I'm not sure what time that game starts. We've got a wrestling preview. NRG. All right, Houston. That's where the, where the Rolling Stones are going to be. I think Elton's going to be in Denver this month, right, Louie? We talked about going there, but uh, anyway. This month cold. as in February or March? February, I think. It's almost over. All right. Yeah. Then and Somewhere. I think he's only there for one day, obviously. Southwest Airlines, the state news, they're lashing out the union representatives' mechanics, suggesting they are purposely 
grounding planes in order to gain leverage in new contract negotiations? Wow. Think about that. They're telling yeah. the, the mechanics, the people who know the plane inside and out, to hurry up. Janine says the Rolling Stones are no filter tour. Cheapest tickets are two hundred dollars now. Jeez. Woo, woo. Woo. Yeah, I'd like to see them. Rolling Stone CDs. Those, those bleed seats for twenty two hundred bucks. I don't know. It's, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it is history. They are history. Um, yeah, literally. Literally. <laughs> it's an expensive ticket. Um, also, the State Digest. There's a story about a uh, family of a twelve year old girl who died in a natural gas explosion. At her Dallas home has released cell phone video the girl recorded to the minutes leading up to the blast. Wow. Yeah, I remember. She's, no she's woofed. She's preparing her hair, wearing a uniform. She speaks quietly. She does not wake her family up. Wow. I wonder yeah. if I... That's sad. How'd they get oh, this the, video? The, the I don't know. House video? I don't know how this video... But they released it, I guess, but apparently to emphasize the loss, I guess. Don Posey Jonas, what are going to say, Tony? Oh, I remember the, um, the the gas tank explosion in that one house. Remember, there was a lawsuit filed that was years ago. Yeah. That leveled that house. Yeah. I wonder what that is now. Yeah, with the baby was baby found in rubble. Crazy, yeah. crazy circumstances. Mm -hmm. You're talking about the one out here in Richard Valley? Well, the, where the firefighters found the baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. In the rubble. What, what's the question about it? Well, I wonder where that lawsuit is. Did they, did they sue? I think they did, and yeah. I thought we wrote about that. Yeah, we should check out the status of that. Yeah. Um, yeah, because Jenner, Jessica wrote the story about the firefighters who found the child. In the debris. Asking if, yeah, yeah, I, I know that. I know Mary Helen. That was the same airline that lost, that just split profits with employees at Southwest. Did they do a profit sharing? I don't know the answer to that question. Um, I. The only thing I know about Southwest is they bought all they bought the whole fleet of Value Jet after Value Jet went under after their crash. Yeah. So that's you have a particular reason to know that. But anyway, yeah. Austin fire, a warehouse fire wiped out one fifth of the city's pedicabs just week before the South by Southwest Festival, which is coming up. One of the busiest times for bicycle rickshaw operators. What I, are pedicabs? Have you ever been in a that's, That's a, a guy bicycle pedals his bicycle around. around. Has you a, ever ridden in one of those? Has no. a little thing behind sure. him where people can ride in. So I did yeah. once in New York City and thought, never again. I don't think so. I was afraid to approach one. They'd well, probably say, oh, out of traffic <laughs> on their bikes. Uh, yeah. I did once in Austin. It was kind of cool. Really? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, didn't feel too, I didn't feel too secure. It was bad weather or something, and it seemed like the best option in New York at the time, but... Whew. Um, you know what would be cool if somebody um, did a horse and carriage thing here in De Leon. Yeah. You want to pick up the poop? No. Well, no. They they care. They have a, a poop bag uh, attached to the right under the horse. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah. think it catches at all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They they do that at the plaza in Kansas City. Yeah. They don't leave poop behind. <laughs> They're like the Marines. <laughs> 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 anyway. Marines leave no one behind. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, they don't because uh, All right. be a heck of a Miranda match. just joined us. How are you, Miranda? <laughs> For those joining us, let us know if you got any thoughts about uh, stories in the paper today, yesterday, or coming up. Um, there's a lot of talk about these school uh, district task forces and what that means for our schools, and we're working on that story too. If you want to throw that out there more deeper look at the uh, future of the school district um, what else is coming up you'll have teas and things you got the last talk show carnival starting tomorrow night yeah knowledge bowl friday night knowledge bowl friday night we're doing a story sunday on church security interesting yeah. issue that's an issue issue story yeah, i gotta read that again today. Uh, yeah we'll have queen victoria like on saturday for sunday yeah. victoria symphony on saturday yeah. Uh -huh. The Oscars Sunday night. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah I guess the Oscars Academy are caved and bringing back those uh, categories they weren't going to show. Oh, did they? Yeah. Good shows. They were going to do. They were going to do, do the commercial break. Or whatever. On the commercial breaks. Yeah. Like. The technical awards, oh. like best editing and cinematography, which really made people mad. Well, cinematography yeah. is pretty. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, it's really good. Janine says Southwest just split profits, but they're apparently mad. 
Um, who's hosting it? Because nobody. nobody. Trying to shorten it. So they're doing a no host kind of thing. I don't know. I guess there's no. That's going to be ugly. Maybe it'll just be a musical number in intro. Janine, it's hard, hard to keep up with this because we're jumping around too much, Janine. <laughs> Good point. Well, we'll try to. We need to, we'll try to slow down. We do need to read a poll question, Janine. What would you like to ask readers? What would they want to know? What are you doing this weekend? There's, we could list all the things to do. Yeah, like Queen Victoria, Symphony, yeah. Knowledge Bowl. What? Yeah, that's right. What are you, event are you planning? Are you planning to attend? In Victoria, yeah, Victoria area. There's all of it. Victoria in the next few days. And what are some of the options? Like some knowledge bowl, knowledge bowl, Victoria, Victoria Symphony. Are the, the well the let's put just uh, Victoria livestock show events, right? Mm -hmm. Which are cute. It's also having weenie dogs this weekend. Livestock show events. <laughs> Uh, what else are you saying? Victoria Symphony. Victoria Symphony. I'm sure there are more going on. But. Uh, your next option is Oh, Queen Victoria. You're just replying to the guy to your right comment on the airline saying, hurry up. Okay. Well, um, it's hard to keep track of everybody here, so I apologize. I see lots and lots of what comments. What was the response? When you said they're, they, they're told to hurry up. Uh, mechanics. Uh, okay. Amanda, well, gotcha. <laughs> Keep up. Anyway, well, she, the reader got. The you reader said that it. about five minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, I know. you said she was responding to it. I yeah. just didn't know what the response was. She said it's hard to keep up with us. It was South Southwest Airlines that split oh. the profits. She answered the question. Oh. Okay. Um, any other events? I have questions about that. I don't know what she's talking about. All right. Still other, please about. specify. Or the also, also is. Oh, you need to put Queen. Vic Queen Victoria. That's comments. that's in the Victoria Livestock Show events. Oh. Okay. Which is Wiener Dogs. Did you put the Pinewood Derby down? Oh, the Pinewood Derby. Oh, Pinewood Derby. That's on our list to cover. That's at the mall too. Them. Yes, I have a deep scar. On this my is thumb because this I is good for all the people who think there's nothing to do. There's a lot to do around here. Pinewood Derby. Uh, go out there and do is that little, the little side cars? That's the little yeah. cars, right? That's yeah. Good. Uh, Scouts. Be five ounces. Suppose they make it. Yeah, yeah they gotta do it. Got another option is just sitting on my couch, sitting on your couch, watching the live show. I whittled it down and then we, my dad would put uh, bolt, um, uh, not lug nuts, but washers, to, so we could get the maximum five ounces. I was, if you weight it just right, mm -hmm. it'll go faster. Yeah, yeah. If you weight it in the back, you know, do this. Yeah, just gotta have that weight in the right place. Well, I'm afraid I wasn't great help to my son on his pinewood derby retreat. But I did cut my thumb open one year. I was like, I felt guilty. Something. I still feel guilty about that. You made him build it himself? No, I worked with them, but it, we got last place. <laughs> <laughs> you probably whittled At least it down. You tried. Uh, I tried. Everyone I tried. Can. Little Paul going, why is our car the slowest, Dad? I said, because your dad's a newspaper editor, not a, <laughs> not a carpenter. <laughs> not a yeah, my dad was the worst. He loved to work with wood. Sorry. One of my um, see, that's that's the kind of dad he needed for that. Yeah, uh, we carved the uh, one called the blue baron. Yeah, it, it was a crappy paint job. I wanted like, and I couldn't smooth it out. And all these other kids, they were coming with nice glossy finish, but they didn't put any weights on it. So it's like they, uh, they didn't do the max. They they carved too much wood off of that. Do we do the soapbox derby here too? Uh, just I don't remember us doing that. Ever that's, that's unusual. Here, I don't ever see it being done. All right. Well, we've answered our trivia question. We've talked about state news. We've talked about local news and sports and features, entertainment news. And we haven't really talked much about national and international news, but obviously our focus is local news, so that's why that's always sort of a afterthought for us, unless it's something really, really big going on. Is there anything really, really big going on? <laughs> The weather. The weather is sunny. Finally, the bishop and the bit. popes are meeting in Rome. Oh, uh, yeah. Trump is the bishop and the popes always meet in Rome, don't they? But they don't. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I think you summoned them all in. Yeah. I think this is the come, yeah. come get your butts chewed a little bit. 
let's not go any more further with that one. Okay. All right. Oh. All right. <laughs> uh, in the present, getting ready to go to some summit of some sort. Uh, is he? Yeah. I don't know. It's called um, his time in Florida. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that sounds like somewhere? that's about it. But if you have um, suggestions, uh, yesterday, I want to say that on our news meeting, we're following up with this, a reader tuned in from Houston and offered a really good story suggestion for Black History Month. I sent that out. Um, we should follow up on that. Or we'll follow up on that. Uh, she was talking about you know, being part of the first integrated class in Victoria. Yeah, yeah I thought that was a... So that's, that is, people ask sometimes, why do we televise our news meetings like this? And, and that's really it. Just for every story idea we get like that, it's, it's worth what we do to come on here and just interact with you. Uh, and that's really the whole point, point of it. So we hope you're somewhat entertained and informed, but that's really the point from our end is to have that reader engagement and hear from, from all of you. So you can uh, tune in, leave your comments here, and I'll look back at them. Or, which because I found that comment after the meeting yesterday, um, or you can call us yeah. and talk to us, which is always good because Tony is eager to talk on the phone. Uh, yeah. <laughs> just call us at 574-1222. Peace out.